So to move in to the next topic area, we're going to talk about the nosing bar relief. Um, so within a staircase, we've had an option for a while to be able to add nosing bars in, which can be from a profile itself, a folded profile, etc. And they would typically be brought in to come onto the, obviously the nose position of a staircase. And what was happening in the past was that if you had like a solid formed tread, it would actually form a clash between the two elements. So we've introduced in this version a checkbox in here, which enables a contour cutout. We'll actually put a relief into the tread itself. So if we just select the tread there and just rotate that around, we can see that there's obviously a cutout in the tread to follow the form of the profile that's sitting over the top of it. So it's quite simple, it's just a checkbox. You uncheck it obviously if you don't want it and check it if you do want it. So if I look now, we can see that that contour has been removed. Obviously apply it again. And you can see that the contour is again in place. So obviously it's typically used when the offsets are set so that the actual profile is actually embedded inside the tread form. Also to complement this as well, obviously we had nosing bars on a landing element as well. So with the same thing in mind here, you can have obviously a nosing bar onto a landing element and the same thing exists again so with that you can obviously enable the cutout in there and it's the same same option here you'll see a contour cutout checkbox and it's the same process you check it and it will place the cutout contour for you if you uncheck it it will not do that typically used as I said when the uh, nosing bar is embedded into the tread form.